Careful profiling allows you to help customers select the right diamond. Appearance and cost are important, but so are personal concerns and motivations. To someone who's quality conscious, present benefits related to rarity, high standards, and perhaps purity. For others it's probably better to point out the subtlety, or pickiness, of grading distinctions, and then focus on the beauty and individuality of the diamond. You might also suggest the possibility of trading a little in clarity to obtain a larger size. The type of jewelry is another consideration. Most people would say ring stones should have higher clarity than those in pendants or earrings because they're likely to receive closer inspections from friends and acquaintances. After the customer makes a selection, provide a little advice to help them maintain the diamond's clarity. Throughout the years, explain that diamonds are extremely hard and tough, but they're not impervious to damage. They can scratch each other if they're jostled together in a jewelry box, and a hard accidental blow can cause chips or breaks. This simply means that diamonds should be worn and stored with proper care. Group Discussion 1. Discuss the clarity system your firm uses, and develop simple explanations for the grades. Clarity assignments in AGS and GIA courses will help with these systems. 2. Examine some diamonds with a microscope or a video imaging system. Discuss the clarity characteristics. How would you describe them to customers? Is it possible to use these instruments for sales presentations? 3. If your store provides clarity plots, select a diamond that has one, examine it with a microscope, and compare it with a plotting diagram. Go over the symbols and what they mean. Then discuss how you could use the plot or the information it provides in a presentation.